So third down and four on the opening drive for West Virginia. Greer now trying to uh, run his way to a close play right away. Great pocket, high throw. It's reached for and pulled in by Marcus Sims. Down the sideline, finally to tackle and up the sideline, and now the Mountaineers close to the 30-yard line. And down toward the goal line. Here. The four-receiver look brings Sills in motion. Greer surveys everything, heaves it up down the sideline. Plenty of Johnson on Jennings. So Greer has been banged around a little bit on these early drives. Peter praises Greer for it is his toughness and his ability to extend plays. He throws behind Jennings, who shows great hands making that catch. Defensive line to get lined up. They rush four. The pressure not picked up. Greer on third and nine. He's got a completion to Marcus Sims. Get away. Four-man rush against Greer with an empty backfield. Plenty of options. He throws and it's dropped at the five. Missed from 44 last week against Kansas. Greer knocked around a good bit in the first 15 minutes. Has all sorts of time. And that ball... Here comes the pressure, off the back pedal, Greer still standing, and toppled. That next play. Against a four-man front, he gets rid of it across midfield, and we take a shot downfield, second and very short. Instead, another sidearm throw, gets a first down, and not too much more. As Might be a good time to look down there. A well, soft coverage on the outside, so a throw to Sims. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. A dart finds Sills. On first and goal, Crawford through the middle. It's almost like having an uncovered receiver. Now on a late blitz, the throw goes across the middle, and it's Sills. Off to the right side, McCoy. The blitz comes right up the middle, then the pass is thrown and caught by Sims. When this offense needs to try to stay on the field. Late blitz up the middle and Greer escapes the first wave. Now looking to throw along, a flag comes in. For Shimanek though, for Texas Tech. Second time this year, he's passed for four touchdowns in the first half of a game. Crawford, the recipient. Greer stands tall off of two feet, and his throw into the hand. Greer throws, and it was behind Sims. Chose to be the offensive coordinator here under Dana Holgerson because he knew who he'd have as the quarterback. That throw is up top, a tall one. Pulled in by Sills, using his height. And pass protection. Second down and 10. Jennings. There's a lot of contact there with the pass intended. Spavital having to dig deep into the playbook today. Taking a shot down the middle of the field into triple coverage. Now Greer targeting one on one coverage into the end zone. Loaded up big on the left side. And now taking a shot back of the end zone. A leaping grab. And it's a touchdown. So nice yardage on first down, right back to the line of scrimmage, and then drag down. Big time blitz, and Greer didn't see it. He makes it third down and 26. Now Greer steps into a long throw, into double coverage, and that ball falls incomplete. It oh, it was a tipped. tipped. 
Oh, and it's taken away. The Red Raiders defensive coordinator, he says, in this league, I know as a defensive coordinator, I'm going to give up points. Just wanted to be less. And Greer is looking for six points. Throw an end zone. And Greer goes up top. Nice throw, Gary Jennings. First area in the zone on third down. Right back to it. A fake into a deep throw and one-on-one -on -one coverage. A high point. Gre Greer brings Jennings in motion. Fakes the handoff. Now rolling. Slips the tackle. Throws to the back of the end zone. Down by as many as 18 against the number 24 team in the country. A strike across the middle for White. In the pocket. Career through for 16 on that last play, and now he wants it all on this one. There's a flag. Career looks that way, throws up top, and in between two defenders. Greer over the middle. He's got the catch, and he's got six. Karan Whitehead. Three minutes and 30 seconds away. Now Greer has another chance at the end zone. A touchdown.